and greetings everybody and welcome to Dwarf Fortress. So we are in episode 2 where we actually embarked. All the items that you brought along you can reconfigure them to something that you like depending on the region you're going to. So, you, so if you're going to a scorching hot desert you might want to bring a lot more water because they're going to drink every two seconds. A lot more um, booze I mean because dwarves need booze. And things like that. So when you start up the game you'll have something along these lines. So uh, basically, this is the mini map on the right. Here's your all your different t keys. This is basically all of your tooltips, and on the left is the actual game. So I never use the mini map. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit tab twice, and this will go to the side. You can hit tab three times and get rid of it totally. So when you hit a key, it will pop up. So uh, D. But uh, right now for rookies, I would recommend. I, I always keep this here anyway because sometimes I get a little rusty. So what we are doing is simply doing this. We are going to go to the therapist. And I already did everything because the recording did not record. It recorded this again. So um, yeah, uh, I'm going to uh, show you a bit of what I did. So all the scales are here. That's why you use the therapist instead of going through menu after menu after menu. Currently the skills are cleaning, sorcery, architecture, and all that. Architecture, honestly, set everybody to an architect because it doesn't affect anything. Well, it doesn't really affect anything. Uh, here you have, and uh, here you have all your um, hauling. Hauling is uh, okay. We're gonna bring the ore to the stockpile right next to the furnace. Then we're gonna cook it. We're gonna make iron. That's that's what this is. Um, engineering is all about mechanics, traps, freaking levers, drawbridges, uh, freaking uh, everything that's mechanical. This area here is all about the um, uh, crafting. So you're crafting all the uh, basically all goods. So. Uh, you can make uh, leather uh, backpacks and stuff for your troops, and and here you can make glass uh, windows and you know make the area all pretty. Here is the gems. Gems you find them in the ground, so you can cut gems, and then after that you can set them into armor and stuff. Then after that you have metal crafting, all the metal. Furnace operation is the most important because that's where you will take the ore and refine it into like take. Iron ore, refine it into bars, and then after that, refine the bar into a at the weaponsmith for a uh, sword. Then you get the fishing, pretty self-explanatory. Just a key thing about fishing: if you're going to make a a seaside fortress and you're going to rely a lot on fishing, make sure you have a good fish cleaner because you have to gut the fish before you guys can eat it. Here is all the farming and food processing skills, as well as some others. Most important, farming, brewing, and herbalism. What I recommend is at the start of the game, you open up Therapist, go down and uh, check herbalism on both these guys. When you check them, they should appear in the queue up here, and then you commit changes. If you keep going left, and larb, I don't know, we always keep interrupting each other. I don't understand, like every single video, we always keep interrupting each other. Next, you will have um, like every all, most of these are self-explanatory. If you need any more details, anyways, I'm gonna go through everything one by one. Um, here is all your medical skills: a diagnoser diagnoses the patient, then a stutcher either like uses a thread and needle and ties up the wound, or or uh, puts uh, splint and crutches and things like that. Animal caretaking is taking care of like horses and freaking dragons that you're gonna pick up on on your adventures. Um, masonry is all about stone working. Uh, stone detailing is actually decorating the floors of your fort with history. So basically, you can actually read the history of your fort on the walls of your fortress. And wood cutting, self-explanatory. Crossbow making, self-explanatory. And carpentry is the wood version of masonry. You can basically make practically the same items. Mining is mining. And mining, just beware. Woodcutting, you need an axe. Don't got an axe, can't cut trees. Mil mining, 
Need a pick. Don't get a pick, no mining. So, yeah, that covers this. One important thing I like to do, right click on your guy, set nickname, type a bunch of friends of yours or a bunch of people you hate. And so basically from top down we got Blackworth, myself, we got Bradley, Cake, Larb, Robert, Silvernote, and Zwat. I place them randomly, not really important. I am the wood car well, cutter carpenter, Brad Bradley's a miner. Cake is the brewer, he's gonna make ourselves some good alcohol. Larb uh, is currently a miner. Robert is a uh, farmer uh, herbalist. Uh, Zwat is a farmer herbalist uh, as well as a bit of animals. And a silver note is a miner slash mason. So now, once this is done, you can just minimize this and go back to the game screen. So now I'm gonna go as slow as I can and I'm gonna try to not forget anything. If there's any confusion whatsoever, drop something in the comments, save your game, and wait until I answer it. So, arrow keys, move around the map. Really dead simple. You see? Left goes left, right goes right, up, 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 down, down, down. Good. Now, if you hold down shift and you hit your uh, arrow keys, it moves ten times faster. So you can look around the map a lot quicker. If ever you get lost in this corner and you have no idea where your base is, hit F1. It'll bring you right back to the starting point. Okay. Now I'm just thinking about this real quick. Uh, okay. So taking a look around the map is very important. So over here you can see, here you can actually clearly see our guys. We get some monkeys and some other animals. Now here you can see like little green squares. And you're like, what the fuck, right? This means that you're one layer above the um, this layer. So it's very important to uh, know how to use the leveling system because over here it's all dark, you can't see shit. So here I'm going to do it real quick. So here you go down, here you go up, there you go, I'm right above. You see my guys are still here, you just can't see them. And here is an, uh, here's a little plateau with like a waterfall right over here. Nice little waterfall. Here there's another river. But you see, it's blue. Why is it blue? Because you're so high above it that you can't see anything. So you're going to go down, and there you go. There's a river. Follow the river. Here there's another brook and a river. And there you go. Go down here. Follow the river. And it goes down here. Now you're wondering, how in the fuck am I doing this? So basically what you do, hold on shift, and use the bracket keys between the M question mark keys. So... It'll take, a, it'll take a while to get used to this, but this is how you use the leveling system. And again, if you freaking go all the way down to the center of the earth, and you're like, oh fuck, I don't want to go all the way back up, just hit F1, and you're back. So, these icons are basically clear, clear enough icons. So, trees are these, these are bushes and shrubs and grass, high grass, and stuff like that. So, uh, also... Let me just check if there's any animals in the area. Not right now. Nope, there's no other creatures. So yes, these little triangles, they're called ramps. Ramps means that this guy, let's say this guy, Larb, could walk up and go up onto the plateau, take this tree and bring it back to the camp. Wherever there's no ramps, you are gonna you can either build ramps yourself or um, do something along those lines. Anyhow, the, the, now I'm going to get you started with the basic pr principles of something called designation. Designation is not exactly like precise orders of what to do, but it's more like I want you to cut trees. Designation starts with the simple key by hitting D. You hit D. There you go. So now D, these are all your designations. You can mine, channel, um, remove uh, uh, upstairs and ramps so you can remove these ramps if you want to so you could funnel enemies into it like a bunch of traps uh, you can gather plants, smooth stone and gravestone, uh, carve fortification, carve tracks etc etc so what you're gonna do to start with is you're gonna need plants so hit P for gather plants now you're gonna see there's a yellow, little yellow square in the center of the stream. If you use your arrow keys, it will move around. So now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go 
And again, don't forget, hold down shift and the arrow keys to move 10 times faster. Now you can go and select, let's say, here. And you'll see there's a little flashing green square here. And then go all the way up to, let's say, here. Hit enter. Now a bunch of these plants went like a, to a brown color. This means that these plants have been designated to be harvested by your uh, herbalists. So they will go and uh, harvest the plants if they can. So I'm just going to designate a bunch of plants here. And I chose a hard area because um, with a bunch of like cliffs and shit, so I could explain everything in one go instead of having to change map 20 times and you guys having to reorient yourselves. So there you go. I set a bunch of, um, of plants to be gathered. If ever you don't want certain plants to be gathered, like I said, you know, like let's say you, you, you check this plant but you don't want it, hit X. It will remove any designation you put down. Next, very important, is trees. So hit T, uh, D and T if you went out of the command. Don't forget, hit escape if you want to get out of command. Now uh, D and T, if you hit T, it will bring you to the tree chopping command. So I want to chop down all these trees like right over here. There you go. Something like that. There you go. There you go. All these trees have been designated to be chopped down. D. Now uh, we've got to get our plants and we've got to chop down trees. But now the goal of Dwarf Fortress is actually building a fortress, and there's many ways of doing it. You can build an above ground fort, you can even build, it's actually a challenge to build an above ground city. But, right now I have an idea, we're gonna do the standard fort that I like to build. It's not the type of fort everybody likes to build, it's, um, it's actually not my type of fort, but anyway. You're gonna hit D and D again, and make sure mine is highlighted. Now, you're gonna look for a cliff or something like this. If you don't have one, I will explain that in a bit. You will go over here, and you'll hit enter. And then you'll just drag it on, make it about three wide. And you can go like one, two, three. And make sure you don't breach the water. Don't breach a lake. It's not nice. And then you hit enter again. This means this area will be mined out. And whatever you find in it, it's your problem. Now, if you don't have a cliff, let's say you just spawn the map, don't got a cliff, it's perfectly flat. Well, you can just hit J for downward stairway. D draw a little square, and there you go. You see, there's a little bunch of stairs there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to hit shift and go down a level by using the, the keys between the question mark and the M. And make sure you remember where it is. Then you're going to hit I. I is for up and down staircases, so the staircases are going both ways. You're going to hit enter, and you're going to cover about the area. And there you go. You can go one by one, or you can go 20 levels. And there you go. You have a bunch of levels ready to be mined out. I won't do this right now, because this is not the plan for my fort, but anyhow. Uh, let's see. And uh, almost done. You don't have to do this one by one, guys. You, you can go the whole levels. Just I don't want to undesignate everything I designated. All right. And uh, as you know, the game is paused right now because nothing is moving, nothing's happening. So what you can do is basically hit the space bar, and time will start. If the game doesn't crash first. Might take a little minute because uh, we're recording in HD, so uh, it's gonna lag the shit out of my computer. But anyhow, um, this is the goal of uh, the tutorial: is to teach you how to how to do things. So once all this is designated, uh, your dwarves should start moving around. Just give it a minute, because. Um, yeah, I'm recording again, and also, if I remember correctly, I left this game up when I ran, when I freaking, from the last video to this video. So it might take um, a minute. Alright, there you go. So now, as you can see, the FPS has dropped to zero, and now it should start picking up very shortly. There you go. There you go, they're moving. And there you go, they're moving. There you go. 
So now as you can see your plant gatherers are going up here, they're going to gather the plants. And as you can see they're moving really fast, so <laughs> the miners are going to dig. The woodcutter is woodcutting. The, uh, well, the plant gatherers are gathering. And what the fuck is this? They already killed something? Real nif. Oh yeah, it's a freaking bug. No mind. All right, so these guys are going like ballistic speeds. They're gonna harvest uh, all they can. And their their skills are not good right now, so most likely they will not get successful harvests. Later on, they'll be able to harvest more. And that is a basic tutorial and designation. And here is there frogs or wheat. All right, so there's fish in these little lakes, and there's fish in the river, most likely. So anyhow, uh, I will um, just show you a little bit more designation. If you're above ground, you can just do this with the J key. And the J key just means downward staircase. So. Just J. Let's go uh, over here. Then you hit I. Go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, something like that. And go down. And then your miners should go and start digging downwards. Even if it's in the slope. Now what's very important is certain types of shit you don't want to mine through. So lignite is good. Lignite is coal. So there you go. You found some coal. Coal is pretty dangerous too because your miners could suffocate if there's a coal vein collapse explosion and shit. There is a bunch of mining um, stuff that's going on. So there you go. You hit silver bearing rock. So you see th this, I didn't designate it yet, it's just you can see it from the bottom of the staircase, there's silver here. So then you can start mining in all directions. But I will show you how to make, uh, in the next episode, how to build buildings and how to make rooms. So uh, thanks for watching. If I, did, if I skipped over anything, hopefully you people will forgive me. And uh, hopefully we'll still be friends. Anyhow, see you soon.